Hi everybody, it's Julie and today I'm here with the double tuck and two inserts. This is for the May Make a Kit, Make a Journal, Junk Journal Challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. The details video for that challenge is in the description box down below. We'd love to have you join us. I am going to be making my double tuck. I chose a page that is kind of busy and I am going to add my double tuck to this busy page. Um, so in my kit, I don't have an envelope. So I actually am going to have to make one. And I did not choose the envelope punch board as my board. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these pages from the other journal that I have in my kit that I've taken apart and I'm using these beautiful pages and um, I have gone ahead and I've marked a square by just pulling that piece over and marking it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and I will have a square and then I also have a little piece left over that'll go up here in my scraps. So I have a new little thing and I've got one of the drawers has my scraps all set up in it. So, cause I can only use what was in my kit except for the mini challenge and the challenges. Then I can add in the items that are allowed there. So I am going to take this and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to make my own envelope. And you remember back when I used to have the the board? Okay. I'm trying to look at this and I want this down here to be a square. I think that's going to be my best way of finding the the closest to a really good envelope. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull my the bottom up, but I'm also gonna pull it a little bit above. Okay, so it's, yeah, so I'm a little bit off, but you know what, some real envelopes that you buy are off too. Okay, so that's gonna give me that. I need to fold this, but I just need to fold it because it's going to be um, the double tuck flap. So this envelope part is what I'm going to be using. And I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use it in this configuration. Since I'm making my own, um, envelope or my own thing here. I think I'm going to go ahead instead of making it an envelope like this, I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece off. And so let's go ahead and it just needs to start and go up. Okay. A little bit more off this edge. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then um, I could go ahead and have this piece be under, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because, and I'll be able to use it somewhere else. Okay, so just like we would cut the envelope open to be able to have a pocket or a tuck, I've gone ahead and make, made my tuck before I've closed my envelope up. And I'm gonna take the top off here. Just put a little bit of glue along here. Okay, so that's gonna give me 
this little tuck space. Okay, and then I'm going to come over and I am going to attach this and I'm going to attach it up high um, because, because I can, <laughs> but mainly because, you know, usually the, um, things get, your journals get fat down at the bottom. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I can put this wherever I want to, and I'm going to put it up at the top. So I've added some glue along that, um, that edge, and then I'm going to add some glue across the center and that's where we get our double tuck. We will have places to put an insert here and an insert here and they will be held in by the double tuck. And then we also will have this that is going to end up being a top tuck, okay? And that's just because of the way that I needed this to, I wanted it on this side. I didn't want the, the flap on this side. Okay, so I made my own envelope with no, nothing because I, I didn't have any envelope thing in my kit that I can think of right now. So <laughs> I might think of one later, but okay. So that is that. And then I need to decorate this with three three things. I think I'm going to start with the, you know, we got this really cute little, the rose cameo from the curtain. This is one of the items that I did choose for my kit. And I'm going to go ahead and cut across that. I'm going to make a little, um, collage. So I've got a piece of blue branding strip here that can help hold this down. I like to put the decorations and items on the pages that are, you know, that have things on them. Okay, so this one is, has the roses, so it's not really going to be a place that you're going to be able to possibly write, or probably, and these roses, let's put them in the, like they're growing up. Okay, so there's that. And I still think I'm going to put, no, I don't like that there. Yeah, we'll add it on here. This is the lace that we've been using. So this is the lace from Dollar Tree that comes with the burlap. And it's actually, the lace on the burlap is like the two pieces together and I cut it down. So I have six yards of that lace. Okay, so there's that. So we have a little flip up here that we can go ahead and, and put something under there if we want to. But that has um, given us some decoration for the flip flop. And now we need two inserts. Let's go ahead and pull this so that we can get an idea. Okay, we have... We have this, and I think this is going to make a really good card for for up here, okay? So that will be the base of that. We've got to add three, three things to that. And then we have just a little one here. Ah, it's the same as, same as that, so I don't think that's going to work. And another one just like that. Ah, here we have this one. And I don't, I'm 
things. I'm going to keep looking. What else do we have? I did go through and um, I cleaned up some of the Okay, so I have this piece of coffee dyed paper that by itself could be an insert. I think we'll go ahead and add this. So those are the two bases and now we just need to add three um, embellishments to them. And it can be any kind of embellishing. Okay, so. That. And that will hold that. And you can actually make it so that it goes under there and under there. Okay, so I like that. doesn't need to be super easy to get it out right okay um, and let's see okay so for this one we have we have that um, let's go to our 14 our 14 items here And so I have I have ticket. It's one of the items. Okay. Have a button. It's kind of cool because it would be up at the top. Little tag. Okay, so I have a Bull pin here. I can just go ahead and take that tag right off there. Okay. I'm looking around to see what else we've got. <laughs> Oh, I did that on the wrong side. <laughs> well, we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and add a little tab here just so that we don't waste the glue. There's that. Okay, um, so this needs to go, and the glue needs to be on this side, or we could actually sew this. Okay, if I put that there, yeah. So I'm going to sew this on right here. And I am, I think I'm going to go ahead and add some of the lace, because, you know, we, we have the lace, so... Okay, let me put that 
that down in there. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna sew this real quick. My sew machine is now right here next to me so that I can have that amazing feature easily. It sounds really um, dumb, but one of the things uh, I would find is that I would have back issues after I scooted my chair whenever I sewed in my craft room. So that meant whenever I scooted my chair from where it is to where the sewing machine was, which was just about five five feet down the down the row here. Um, and I'd have back issues. So, okay, so this will come in there. Okay, so that will give us that. And I think, see, I have the, um, the bling. So what things um, were you not able to put in your kit that you really wish you would have been able to, to put in your kit for, you know, maybe for just a couple of things? Please let me know in the comments below so that um, maybe those things can be added to our mini challenge in the challenge. So um, there now we have journaling space there might be kind of fun to have a little surprise in here and you know we've been using this little butterfly i i like this little butterfly this was this is from the dollar tree stamps and have you been able to find the dollar tree stamps i it's worth continuing to look for um it's they're they're, they they work really good. I'm very happy with um, how they stamp. And so we'll put that back down there. And we'll grab our, our inks. So I have chosen these little, the little inks, the little Tom, Tim Holtz inks as one of my 14 extra items. And I also chose the cosmetic sponge as one of my 14 items so that I could, well, it's a whole package of them because remember your 14 items are as you would have pur purchased them. And so there's that. And then let's go ahead and grab just a little bit of the pink. And you know what? I'm using this enough. I think that we should go ahead and make a um, make a template. Okay. So let me show you how I make a template. Um, we'll go ahead and stamp the butterfly again. Let's see if we can get enough. Yeah, get at least the outline. Okay. So now. Um, Remember, you you got to have your cutting tool as one of your items. I'm just going to go ahead and go around it. And I don't need to worry about the, the body there because I don't really need color on the body. I need color on the wings. And I could cut this, I'm going to just do the full butterfly, but you could cut the pieces that you might want. I'm going to have to just use the mat that's on my desk here. Okay. Yeah, so I think I've been, since I've been using this so much, it might be, be a good one to to do. So if you have stamps that you like to use, um, 
this is a great way to be able to stamp fast. If you're stamping like wedding invitations or something, this is a, a great way to be able to um, color them in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that. So when you open this, you've got that little surprise there. I love it. And we'll go ahead and also add it in this one. Now this one I'm gonna do a little bit different just cause they're right there next to each other, but we'll still be able to do, whoop. Okay, so um, we can use copy paper if we have it. I'm gonna just use this, as, use some copy paper. And, and I'm going to stamp on the edge of this, okay? So, trying to line up. That's okay, so there's, there's my little, my little stamp. And I just stamped the edge of the butterfly. Cause I didn't want to take up as much of the journaling space. Okay. Now I can bring in my little template and put it right over the top. And I don't even have to think about as much about where I'm putting my color. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the, well, I had some, add some pink. So this is, uh, scrap from cutting out the digital. Remember, you can use all, everything. You're, you can use your packaging that came in your, with your 14 items. You can use the, the bag that your 14 items came in if you went and shopped. Okay, so there I've just added that using the little template, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut my template off and put it in with my tools and items over here. But just know that that is a great way to be able to decorate quickly. Okay, so that, that little insert has gotten its second item. It got this as its first. Okay, and I, you know what? We haven't used the words. Have we? We might have. Yeah, we did. We used them on the pocket that's going to go in the very back, but that's okay. We'll use, we're going to use the words here. Let's grab the, okay. Okay, so we'll just, just going to go ahead and put this on. So again, this is for the May make a kit, make a journal, journal, junk journal challenge. And I usually like to do this sometime, um, this challenge or something similar sometime around summer or when we're getting ready to possibly be taking trips and things like this. Um, the first time we did this was when I needed to make a kit because um, I was going to take care of my dad. So there we've got our Enjoy the Little Things. We've added a tab and we've done our coloring there. That gives us our three items for this. Now we can also write on there and on the back of this as well. I had some glue on it. <laughs> okay, so that is my double tuck. Now you needed a double tuck with two inserts we actually end up with a third place over here. Oh yeah, we need to add, um, oh, we've got lace. Okay, so we've got our three items here. Um, but I'm wondering if we, if it would be better that our lace had some color. I 
what if, what if our rose had some, some color? It's interesting. Sometimes this um, stamp pad looks really yellow and sometimes it's golden. Okay, so there's that. And then we can take the green and just go ahead and add some green So just adding some color to it, just for something different. And then we have this spot that needs, um, needs something. That's my list. My list goes on the other side. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. I think this one might be kind of cool in there because the decorations for it are on the bottom. Okay, let's see if that's going to fit. It does fit. Okay. And it doesn't need to have anything else added to it because we've already added our other embellishments. So, um, yeah, so that gives us another place that we can write. And I love it. Okay, so this is our double tuck. Okay, with two inserts, we actually have three. And um, this is one of the elements for the May Make a Kit, Make a Journal, Junk Journal Challenge. So you'll see that I'm not just grabbing whatever I want to. I have to grab from the 14 items that I had in my kit or the 14 little single items or we did have some um, free items, some tools and things that we're able to use. Um, but I think, I think that this is going to be a really great page in, in this junk journal. So are you playing along? Are you enjoying this challenge? I've had several people say that this is their favorite and I've loved seeing some of the kits that are actually in bags and ready to go to um, granddaughter's house and vacation and the other house. And so um, that, that has been really, really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and put another double tuck video up here, um, giving you ideas for your double tuck. So your double tuck is this, this envelope on to a page, and then your inserts are these three places that you have places for inserts. And you need to have at least two, and all of your items need to have... Um, your base element, which is this envelope for this one, needs to be decorated with three items, and your inserts need to each be decorated um, or embellished with three items. Don't forget to go watch one of these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe, because we do this every day. We use the Premier format which means that we get to have a live chat in our live chat. Just join us by hitting that live chat button down there. Come on in, say hello, and introduce yourself so that we can welcome you. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to be able to keep, stay connected. And again, we have a lot of fun. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.